Hello everyone, this is Abdurrahman Gilal. Today I'm going to discuss about uh, in programming languages. Uh, a lot of students uh, are sometimes confused uh, to know that why do we learn programming languages? And why do we have so many programming languages? So in today's short presentation, I will be covering these two basic questions that uh, why uh, do we have programming languages and why do we have so many programming languages? So let's say uh, if I start this presentation, I will go to know the, what is programming languages. So it is a very uh, basic definition that it is a way by which we can communicate with computer or computers. So if I divide my computer system um, into parts, I will say I will be having a hardware as a part uh, and uh, data as a part, users as a part, and software as a part. So I use uh, programming languages to develop software and software are the media or medium to communicate uh, with all those possible parts of the system. If you want to instruct hardware to do some actions, you probably uh, be uh, using software and software is developed using programming languages. If you want to communicate with uh, users, uh, definitely you need to communicate using software and the software uh, can um, be probably developed by uh, the help of programming languages. So that's one of the things that is a very fundamental, uh, uh, you know, definition of programming languages. So the second questions come around here. Why do we have so many programming languages? So I would say as why do we have so many natural languages? So the answer is uh, evaluation, uh, need, ecosystem, and the, you know, a lot of other legacies that we are actually following. So I have designed this uh, presentation in a way that to explain the important uh, units of having so many programming languages. So the first unit is uh, diverse need. Uh, we have a different type of software that we use. For instance, we use, uh, uh, you know, uh, web applications. At the same time, we use mobile applications. These days we use uh, uh, smartphones, so we use uh, watch software, and we have uh, nowadays this a lot of IoT based systems. So we've got a lot of uh, different needs uh, that we are actually, uh, you know, incorporating every day. So that's why we need different uh, languages, they, those who, which can actually communicate effectively. So the first important thing is that if a language that is good in web application may not be good in mobile application. So it's necessary to understand, uh, let's say if I uh, live in Pakistan, so I can communicate people there easily in Urdu language. However, people still can understand English, but it does not mean that the ease of it is going to happen even if we use those uh, in a foreign language. So there's the same thing if you're developing mobile application, the local dev uh, development language would actually, uh, you know, easify your things or your work or task. So uh, we have evolution, you know, uh, these days uh, languages are evolving from one to another one. For instance, we used to have C and then uh, the deeds evolved and then uh, uh, the language named C++, which means an increment in, in C language. And then definitely we have got some limitations within C++. So then we jump to another language, which may be a Java or something else. So by the time like human languages are evolving, it's the same way the, uh, the computer programming languages are evolving too. And uh, sometimes uh, we need different uh, paradigms of you know, uh, and the programming languages, for example, some programming languages are procedural languages. They work with the one and the one and other steps. So one, two, three, four. And there are some programming languages which are object oriented, such as uh, Java and, uh, you know, C sharp. Uh, so uh, these paradigms are, are also being used in different places. So we have to focus that these Categories of programming paradigms have, uh, you know, uh, urged the developers or researchers to have different programming languages. 
So let's say uh, in some of the programming languages, uh, or we got a lot of community available and ecosystem available. So the developers or researchers actually prefer to use uh, the available community and ecosystem for that. For instance, if I talk about, let's say, PHP language, so you got a huge community available. So people are actually uh, using uh, not in particular language because they've got uh, community and ecosystem available. So the same thing happens with Java and so many other famous programming languages. So this could be another factor by which people uh, are having so many languages these are available. Uh, legacy systems, definitely we got the old system available where organizations are still stick with the particular type of uh, you know, language. Uh, so sorry, software. So in order to just keep the software with them, they still be using the older, older languages. So this could be one of the reasons that the older languages are still available in the market. Uh, uh, these days, uh, a lot of researchers are having their specific things. For instance, if they are working in uh, physics uh, or if they are working in uh, bioinformatics so uh, it's not easy for the easy, you know available languages to deal with them these days the data is coming in a beta and zettabyte so so researchers cannot actually if they cannot use the available languages so they make their own languages and they can uh, communicate uh, or to use them to solve their problems or if their language is having some specific limitations in order to solve those specific limitations uh, there are still a uh, need to have, uh, you know, to be researched to have another language. So, and uh, it would I say that the personal preferences and innovations are also one of the key factors. And there are a lot of people they are easy with, uh, let's say Java, so they keep, uh, you know, using Java as their language. So uh, these factors uh, are actually going to, you know let you be with one sort of language or actually you know create a need that evolve for another language so thank you so much uh, if you got any question please drop me a comment or uh, send me an email i will try my best to answer thank you so much